This thing should be uh, good to go, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't like pop ups? Huh? No. It should work out nicely, I think. Alright guys, it's a new day. You hear some clattering. We, well, I always say we, but it's really more he, um, is getting these wheel locks off. We were kind of worried that this might be a pain. Sounds like, uh, for once, something worked out well, right? Yeah, not too bad. We've got two off, and we're we're working on on getting this this one. And we got right a new here. set, way cheaper than than uh, for the probably the same stuff than what I could have gotten from the dealership. But um, once that gets off, new brakes going on, tires. Got to do the exhaust, button up some yep. of the panels, and just make sure AC and the rest of the stuff's good. This thing should be uh, good to go, right? Yeah. Mm. What did you think of that startup yesterday? Uh, better than Is that I what expected. you thought this would sound like without yeah. exhaust and stuff? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know why. I figured it'd sound like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. But uh, a little bit better than I thought. <laughs> so it did sit overnight, and other than a little bit of excess overflow from the antifreeze, maybe a tiny drip of something we got to inspect a little more. Looked pretty good to you? Yeah. Overall, sitting overnight with fluids, I don't see any drips of antifreeze on our, our hoses down here. So what's uh, the plan of action today to get this thing finished up? Where do we want to start? So our plan of action today is we, we've got to get the rest of all of the suspension on here uh, as far as those big braces that you know hold the alignment and spec and then we've got to get the sway bars make sure that the the links tighten are down. tightened down yeah uh this bar here exhaust. we've got that big plate that goes underneath here yeah um and then all of the exhaust some and oxygen sensors covering, some got, engine covering up yep top. and i pulled everything out that we need for today i've got the, okay, the plastic, all the plastic covers, and stuff okay. the heat shield converters the muffler that panel um, pretty much the only stuff that needs to go back on this car is everything back there and then the, those two plates and that those axles and uh, this thing's back together and, and ready to rock. And so. we're gonna take it on a, oh, and we're doing tires, new brakes. Tires, brakes, um, yep. And we're gonna take it on a quick test drive. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm once, gonna, once we let it run for a little while and yep. burp all the, the bubbles out of the, the antifreeze system and you know bleed the power steering system out from the air that was in that, um, yeah, we, we should be ready to go. All right, well, let's uh, let's get let's get you know let's get going. But guys, you know, real quick, um, this is gonna be the second part of this video probably. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Voss. We are working on a Porsche Boxer, and um, what do we when do we start this? Like in March, start a quarantine, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and initially, this had a supercharger, a lot of other things on it. Uh, we made some you know decision making, bringing this car back to its stock form, probably help with value, also. This is gonna be a fun car regardless of how much power it has because of the weight. Um, and we decided that, you know, the new engine's got 11,000 miles. We checked everything. Everything's pretty much essentially new. Clutches looked fantastic. Everything looked very good on this car. So we're gonna get this done. But, you know, if you're here for the first time, hit that like button, help support the channel uh, so we can keep doing more builds. But I'm gonna shut up now and let's get this time lapse going. been probably another hour-ish um yeah. we're doing pretty good uh, you you are doing pretty good i haven't done anything I, i'm trying i've been i've been just chit-chatting about our next build which we're not gonna talk <laughs> about yet but um so now axles are in transmission's nice and sturdy we're putting the cats back on the kitty cats yeah they're going back on yeah we okay so this is the thing when we first started this when the supercharger was on we actually i promise you we had some really nice plans for this car yeah as we got further in, not even forget time. You know, if we had more time, right? It was just, hey, well, how much money? How much more money do we want to spend? Right. But also, is it really worth it? Is is, it, is there any value added? I say typically for mods, it's very picky and choosy on mm -hmm. if, if value gets added or not. 
I think, like I said before, I think this car is more valuable stock. What do you think? I think so too, because anytime you have a car like this and mods have been done, there's always the question of, was it done correctly? And what are the repercussions of it? What kind of damage has already been done? How many times has it been to the track? Yeah. We're gonna honestly be able to say this car is back to stock, no mods, other than the suspension stuff and the brakes. And, it has uh, adjustable suspensions. We have slotted brakes and some really nice tires. Yeah. And we actually have to do one mod and not even by choice. Uh, All right. We, so, so actually yesterday we were um, working on this and um, we noticed uh, the, um, the charge pit, like pipe yeah, for the, the uh, air box on here it was not gonna work because it had the uh, split for the supercharger uh, section. So because of that, we are actually gonna be custom making our own, essentially stainless steel, uh, cold air intake, and we're gonna yep. custom make it all. Mm -hmm. um, you can't buy this anymore, it's gonna, I think, nice thing is now that this factory restricted air box is gone, it's gonna have, allow a lot more cool air to get right. sucked in. Yeah. Let's be honest, you're not gonna get more horsepower. You're just not, people say, right. you, you know, I'm not gonna get a 10 horsepower or anything, but it's gonna be a little bit cleaner, um, right. a little bit easier to now deal with. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you don't have to constantly change the air filter out because it's kind of a, a washable and reusable thing, so. And this box is uh, kind of a pain to put in there. So you almost this, can't do it without the engine being right. in. This is going to save us a bunch of time by doing it. And the, the time offset, we'll be able to just make that cold air intake. And our biggest struggle with that will be making sure that we get the map sensor yeah, sealed on be, that pipe. Yeah, that's going to be tough. So that we get good readings for the fuel trim and whatnot. But. Another hour has gone by. And uh, um, we have learned some more things. Where's my exhaust? Um, right back there. So check this out. I don't think we caught this before, but uh, I guess yay. Old muscle man. It's broken. So, instead of dealing with this, we came up with a better idea. Well, I say we, but I, I really didn't <laughs> come up with the idea. But essentially, um, what's going on now is um, putting cats back on. Like I said, we want this car to be stock, we want it to look stock. Um, but we are going to. Josh said he has some really nice tubing and a nice bender, and we're gonna actually, once it comes out of here like this, gonna tube up, bend up some really nice tubing that fits this perfectly, and possibly either make some really nice cool looking tips, like some tips coming out of here. Whoops, big tips coming out of here. Um, but, <laughs> or, or um, try to f use that stock, um, stock tip and kind of fab it up. I think it's gonna look real good, what do you think? Yeah, it's gonna look good. I'm expecting it to have a nice deep tone to it and yeah, not it's... crackle. I'm hoping that it's not gonna crackle too much. If it does, uh, we can always bevel cut and change the, the tip You don't like angle. pop pops? Huh? You don't like the crack and pops? No, only on when it's something that has the appropriate amount of horsepower to do so. What if it's <laughs> got the appropriate amount of reliability unlike the, the anything that GM would have made? Oh! What about that? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh, your car's still not done yet, buddy. <laughs> oh, you're right. I, you're, be careful. <laughs> so I'm saying you sh you're saying I shouldn't be talking to smack to the guy fixing this. Is that right? So oh, running yeah. and banging out. Oh, no, there, there we go. <laughs> That's when you start. A little more time has passed, and now we're to the point where everything down below looks pretty squared away. And now, um, earlier Josh got these locking um, lugs off, and yank this wheels and tires off, and put the brand new brakes. Here are the brakes I was talking about earlier. Those were um, sent to me uh, with a nice discount from Brake Performance, so I'll link them in the description below. Really nice. They look really good. What do you think of those? What's they your thoughts? For, for the money, pretty good? Yeah. So if you guys need some brakes, you know, check them out. I'll put them down in the description. But um, yeah, we're going to get started on this.
cool thing here, our tires are now mounted, balanced, good to go. Mm -hmm. It's probably not aligned, but uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, our um, new brakes, what do you think of those things? The yeah. first impressions. I mean, they look all right. Yeah. We'll have to see uh, how they perform, how they, perform, how they yeah. feel, uh, and kind of go from there. Explain, uh, explain that. What so, you <laughs> just kidding. So kidding. Voss was thinking there's a problem with the brakes. It definitely, it sounds like there's a problem with the brakes. Yeah. What it is, the parking brake cable through here. Hang on, let me spin it around. Hear that? There's a hose clamp in there that holds the parking brake up because it was moved from its factory location uh, to make room for that supercharger that was over here. Well, this wheel in particular was the only wheel on the vehicle that had a sticky weight on the very inside of the wheel because there is a flange there to put a standard style clamp on weight. And I was wondering why there was a sticky weight there. Well, this makes sense because a wheel weight hits that hose clamp. So when we take it up to do the exhaust, we'll fix that problem. So speaking of exhaust, moving into that now, yeah. we are, literally we have two things left in the AC on this car and it's done, mm -hmm. essentially, assuming everything's good. We were able to take off these, the stock exhaust is not good anymore, it's rattling real bad, there's something broken in there. Um, but we've come up with a master plan, we're going to hang this guy up, yeah he can mock it up, and uh, then we're going to bend some tube to run some two, like run a couple pipes out. It should Actually, look. It's gonna go this way. Yeah, it'll be like that, and then it should. Um, and then we're gonna have a pipe come yep, up come here, here, and then right down in here. I would say probably one bend is all we're gonna need to do because that's pretty straight up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Roughly, yeah. we may have to do two. Like a couple bends, but that's where we're gonna get onto now. Yep. We'll finish up with the uh, the intake, and then have the car run while we do the AC, and then should be good to go.